All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video of Days Gone. Today we're gonna be um. Corporal Saint John. Yay, yeah, Sarge. That was life. Right, let's go and meet up with Doc. Something I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, Taylor. Taylor's there. Okay, hello, dude. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe the shit? <coughs> Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like something's gonna happen to the Doc in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the Doc to loop you all over? What the hell? Loop? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no Fuck pain, brother. Yeah. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Is that lesbian? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no problems, just doc. Yeah. You know, me parece. I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. Alright, well, let's go. <laughs> Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go and go. No, no, no. I don't think so. Wait, what? Coronel, no, no, no. What I do if I lost you? If anything were to happen to you, you <coughs> can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the ship before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen. Oh. I don't know what I do oh, is that like a romance thing for there? Oh god, okay. <coughs> Does he like him? Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> okay. Right, let's go and see Sarah. Let's go and see how she's doing. Oh, oh. In the night time, okay. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there, you... <clears throat> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an Who order. Who wishes it? <coughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me? I'll be right back. Dress warm. Backlight. Hey, Deke. Oh my god, if you say thank you one more time, I... somewhere lieutenant colonel captain yes we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that i need i see how's your work progressing good good with deep corporal st john's help i've been able to make some good progress thank you for assigning <coughs> <this project. coughs> well, lieutenant weaver's also been making progress he says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week i heard mine will be ready soon <coughs> You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Mm. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Mm. Bitch. Carry on, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Corporal. I'd like to see you. Oh. 
come back there tomorrow. Alright, let's do this, shall we? Let's do this. Let me check my control. Yep, we can. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, I've taken care of all of the ambush camps now. Somewhere. Yeah, no, fuck. No, oh, there we go. Yeah, told you. I um, I did the last. I did the last three off camera, so I I have now complete that one. I've got a bunch of that to do. But, yeah. Sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out <laughs> there. We need the order and <clears throat> discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks getting pointless, I mean. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy shit! I did not mean to do that. Holy fucking shit. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. What is that all about, anyway? <clears throat> what? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms <coughs> and race seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean... One sec. Right, so there's Diamond Lake for there. Oh, yeah, um... You guys had ranks like... I'll show you in a sec. ...captain and president. I mean, you wore badges no. and patches and... I got the death strand in time. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and pipes. <clears throat> now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Yeah, I've I've hey, shut it off. I've got the death stranding um, tank now. You, you can see around, it. Buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from to keep anyone from <coughs> Corporal. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's it's the colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <clears throat> Move! Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, go on, dude. Report there. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. I'm not driving, by the way. Oh it's doing it for me. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... <clears throat> I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. 
Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be That's honest. So cool. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that about <clears throat> you know hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just uh, too goddamn stubborn <clears throat> to give up. I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down, so I, I didn't wanna go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive, and that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, well, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remember I still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. If you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are going to get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? <clears throat> Getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up. Must probably a hole in there, must probably. It's daytime, anyway, so it's fine. <clears throat> oh, that's rippers. That means rippers, that does. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, fuck, I want to check the map. Need your help to move that out of the way. Yeah, that's rippers. Yeah. My God, what the hell is that? <clears throat> that is a sigil. It's a warning yes. sign from the rippers. What's a ripper? Oh God. Rippers. She don't know. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into him. <clears throat> you can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, we actually are going over there. Jesus. But we still can't go over there yet. Fuck, man. Oh, wait. Oh, the old sawmill. Well, wow. but I still haven't done any of like literally none of these at all. Um, knowing me, I'm also be doing when I'm all, like off when I'm. I'll do I'll do it off. I'll do like more like. I'll do like. I'll do like all of this off camera at some point. <clears throat> So yeah, like I've got the Death, death Stranding um, thing now for the bike, so I'm happy. And I've upgraded my bike a little bit more as well, got like more shit. Okay, hang on. This is going to be a tight squeeze. <clears throat> Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile there we go. when everything got over. There we go. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm way there, I think. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Here we go. Let's do this shit. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> I thought I'd see this place again.
Oh, fucking hell, Jesus. All right, the power's still on. <coughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <coughs> There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon. are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. Oh. <coughs> My game fucking... That's when I... <sighs> Press the button, but it's fine. I still need the game anyway. Okay, you missed. Alright, fine. You didn't miss anything? Good. Oh. I thought I pressed it by accident, but I don't. I'm good. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. That's a hole the fucking crows are in. Fucking hell. Woo! Jesus. made them so hyper aggressive that makes them a pain in my ass <clears throat> i think we should be okay as long as we're quiet okay come on <sighs> so someone shot them all as they were what <clears throat> trying to leave i mean yeah it looks like it <gasps> And then they just locked the place oh, wow. up tight and they left. Why would they do that? <clears throat> Who knows? I don't know, I wasn't here. Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five one. Got it. I got a new new pistol as well, so it's well, good. <coughs> so okay, so why is um what'd you call it? <coughs> Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. <coughs> I remember the guys in the IT department <coughs> constantly complaining about the system going down and that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been what, two years? I got new. What do you think? Do you like it? Blast. Got another weapon. <laughs> A new one. Wait. Why are the cameras moving? <clears throat> Damn it! I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Sir, you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? <clears throat> Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. <clears throat> They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Let us in! Motherfucker. Oh, is there another way? <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Okay. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. 
But why won't they have that locked out too? We don't know that they have locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. Okay, yes, so the emergency true. exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you're gonna want me to shoot down my phobia now. God damn it! Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. Uh. That before? Yeah, once or twice. I'm just trying to get a cutscene, Zion. <clears throat> yes, why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, <clears throat> but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, <clears throat> and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim. <clears throat> Jim, the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dude, up. Dude, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome <coughs> to the <Cloverdale coughs> Research Iron Butte facility. It has been seven minutes <coughs> since your last login. Please wait. <coughs> See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Go, go now. Oh, fuck oh, I love this gun. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? This is driving me fucking crazy. Get you there. Do your thing, girl. While I do this. ID 2007659, override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Shut the fuck up. Mom. They must not have locked out under security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Shut up. Warning. Deadly force is 
Front is that? I love luck later on. Try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Oh. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. <laughs> There's a ledge out here. <clears throat> you should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. Yeah, I can see yeah. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? <clears throat> Listen, I don't want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. Yeah. What's that? The door's locked out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, I have an idea. What? on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's good. 542009. Okay. How's it going? 
Oh, that's a lot of them. Deacon Lee St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning. Tell your men to stand down. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron. This is your first login. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, listen to me! Fucking hell. My fucking hell. <sighs> Wait here. I'll break it through you. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. You bitch. Asshole. Just tell me what you want. Do you not recognize me, dude? Okay. Alright. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. He's down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. <clears throat> you didn't want that, did you? No, we didn't do this, fucking asshole. We just couldn't take the risk. <clears throat> Get up. What? Wait, wait, wait. I can't. <clears throat> Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the. Why? Why is there a coil? The goddamn door. All right, all right. Jesus. Try to do this, man. Nah, see if this works now. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Ooh. Fucking Ooh. hell, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, she badass. I like her. She might fare out. <clears throat> it's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I should have seen it when it first went in. I want that. What the fuck is going on? Fucking, what the hell? I'm sorry, I'm take us out and take it back out. Let's see if I fucking work. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me, he kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay, who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman, he, he was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're, 
dive tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. I don't, I don't understand what you mean. I pieced it together in myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell and I went to go <coughs> try and find David, but he was already <coughs> gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. <coughs> there was this big green expo in Port. He, he must have been gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even I can't, know. yeah, I can't. It's, it's far from me. But yeah. And two days later... It's not that. Two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't understand. You it's, it's the re- I can't, what the fuck? Research. My research was a part of this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. There we go. Okay, nice. <coughs> Alright, there we go. That's much better. Yeah, I was on the wrong one. I don't know what the hell happened, but it was weird. It should be fine from now on now. <clears throat> hey, uh, there we go. Okay, oh, nice. The electric fence. Perfect. Like... Perfect. Uh, the power relays are in the <clears throat> building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot I was on the 3D version, which is not good. Letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Let's go on Radio Boozer, shall we? <clears throat> there you go. Funny feelings? I'm gonna get my wallet off. <clears throat> yep, looks froze. Ah, I'm happy I got my fucking wallet off then. Another one somewhere. Fuck. Oh, wait, that's down. There's another one somewhere that I'm guessing. Oh. 
that's fine. This will work. Not now, not now. That did it. and get all the blues this way. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. <clears throat> Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deacon? Deacon, is that you? Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Deacon, it is good to hear from you, brother. <clears throat> good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh... The, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river, you, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Yeah, I found her. It was my wife found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get her back. <clears throat> Um. Lost Lake Camp, come in. God damn it. Uh, Lost Lake? Come <gasps> in. Ricky. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen. <clears throat> there's a I don't think we hear from you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. about the Alcadares, because I think he liked yeah, it as okay, well. okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. <clears throat> and if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work, uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. Don't ever believe it. There's another camera over there, I need to Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <clears throat> could you tell... You know what? Listen, man, here they go. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle, <clears throat> I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Thank you. Aww. Aww. St. John, this is Cody. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. <clears throat> yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. <clears throat> tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. <laughs> Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. <clears throat> but it's worth try, so uh, let's get moving. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. such a cute couple, man! Such a cute couple. <clears throat> 
It's clear. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna have a little bit of a romance. Come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. <laughs> Ooh, damn. I think I had a soaking wet. <laughs> damn, they get. Do you want to make a wall? Did you want to eat something? Or... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. Why you want to eat? You want to eat something? <laughs> About time. It's about buddy time. Yay! Good. Okay, nice. It's a little bit awkward, awkward but it's fine. Oh, the music is so good. The music is so good, man. Holy shit. They look happy they do them, too. This is such a good game. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Fuck, man. <gasps> oh, God. It's getting cold outside. Take off all your clothes. <laughs> Alright, okay. Holy shit, man. So. Yes! Remote bomb! Oh, my God. About time. Like. What's going on? Nothing. Alright. See you guys in the next one.